Let's take a look at Slick at its outlining. Outlining is on by default for languages that support it, but there are multiple styles. Slick at it will usually choose the best one. For example, here we see a C++ file. If we go to the View menu, the Outline submenu, you can see that in this case it shows Statement Outlining. If Statement Outlining is available, this is usually the best choice. Slickedit is the only editor that lets you use different styles of outlining per language. Outlining also allows you to easily collapse a block of code. You can float over the plus icon to preview the collapsed code, and then of course double click it to re-expand it. Let's take a look at another popular language, Python. Again, we can see that outlining is working well here. Collapse and expand. And if we look, we'll notice again that the outlining style is statement. Let's try a language with no outlining support, a text file. Slickedit doesn't know how to outline a file it has no support for, but the styles are still available to try. In this case, we have an indented list. So you can see indent works very well. Finally, let's look at some different C code. You might notice the if-else blocks that don't have braces don't look as good as they did in the C++ file we looked at at the beginning of the video. But because all the styles are available, It turns out that the indent style works well for this type of C++ code. Download your free trial today. Go to www.slickedit.com trial.